Is that your new tape? Star Lord. Who's the guy with the scary eyes? He doesn't have a name. He's one of the space riders. And he's not scary. He's cool. Your space rider certainly got his hands full. Pretty far out. Nobody says far out anymore, Ma. <laughs> Ma. What? Nobody says far out anymore. Oh, well, your mom does. Maybe we should see if we could get tickets to see them live. Really? Mm hmm Your mom may not look it, but I was quite the rocker when I was your age. Your father and I would just lie on the hood of my old Chevy and listen to Black Sabbath and... You like Black Sabbath? Like I said, your mom's cooler than you think. Oh, we'd look up at the stars, and he'd tell me all about the places he'd been. Mom? How about some cake, huh? Yeah, I'll be up in a sec. You said that 15 minutes ago. If you don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole cake myself. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. <laughs> you wouldn't. Yes, I would. Hey, watch the hair. <laughs> We've talked about you leaving your toys on the floor. It's not a toy. It's an action figure. More like an action landmine. Stab your foot. I will. He doesn't even... Never mind. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec. I promise. Right. Oh man, I can't wait to play this. Maybe I can convince Annie to buy it with his paper out money. We'll make our stand. Yeah. Don't give a damn. Yeah. This is our time to go from zero to here. Hope Mom wasn't joking about seeing Star Lord. Yeah, if they ever decide to play out here in the boonies. The final battle was awesome. Looked like the heroes were done for, but they pulled it off. Oh man, traveling through space must be amazing. This will be worth hundreds of dollars someday. Gotta beat Janie's high score. This is embarrassing. Three natural ones in a row last game. Some barn I turned out to be. It's pretty crazy that all that destruction started from one little mistake. Need to build up my calluses. Keep hitting those dingers, George, and you'll make it in the Hall of Fame for sure. Might as well just peel the stickers off and put them in the right spot. Fingers are still crap from trying to bookmark pages. I know that's not how you're supposed to play, but I'm tired of dying everywhere. Love to be able to ride one of those light cycles. Ooh. I can't believe I caught this. 
That maiden show was awesome. Stop doing this, man. It's weird. We are approaching the quarantine zone. How long was I out for? 15,338 ticks. That's very specific. The betrayer is ready to begin our mission. She has requested your presence in the cockpit. Gamora's on our side, Drax. She is the spawn of my sworn enemy, a murderess and a traitor. I do not trust her. We'll try. We're supposed to be a team. I make no promises. It ain't just a junkyard. The quarantine zone's the biggest pile of galactic war debris in the known universe. Just think of all the tech we can find. Hey, it's only illegal if Novacor finds us inside, which they won't. Groot's right to be nervous, Rocket. Don't underestimate the Novacor. Oh, come on. Am I the only one who ain't scared of the galactic police? They've got the numbers on us. But they ain't got the brains. Ha! I am Groot. Ah, there you are, Quill. Tell Groot to stop worrying about getting arrested. I am Groot. I'm not overconfident. I'm just the right level of confident. <sighs> arrested? If they catch us, they'll shoot us on spot. <gasps> Out here, on the frontier, cops don't have time to arrest people. I am Groot. <laughs> Relax, bud. Novacor ain't the type to shoot first. Arresting folks is their whole thing. That and silly helmets. <sighs> Nice gizmos, Rocket. I'm calling them thumpers on account of the noise they make. Assuming we get past the force field and reach your coordinates in one piece, all we gotta do is set them up, and these babies are gonna draw out our monster in no time. <laughs> How's that even gonna work? The thumper goes beep, 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 and the monsters come running? It goes more like, uh, wah, wah, wah. Hey, holla, rocket! Stop this rocket at once! <laughs> and then the monster comes a running out of its hole. Are you sure about that? Hey, all my intel came from your source. My sources are very reliable. Those coordinates are 100% pointing towards a rare, elusive, priceless creature. With no physical description to go by. What do you think elusive means? It don't matter what the monster looks like. As long as it's got ears, you can be sure my thumpers are gonna drive it right into our arms. Hmm. This moment of quiet reminds me of the legendary siege of Seknoff 7. Oh, not again. It is said that Lady Hellbender held her breath through ten moons while riding across the stars on the back of a great horned beast. And when she when arrived... When she arrived, she exhaled, and the wind blew away the Shatari. Indeed. The 
did. If he realized it didn't make no sense, he wouldn't be telling it. So, Drax, excited to meet our buyer after we catch the monster? Of course. Lady Hellbender is a legendary warrior and a noble queen. And she's rich. The Drax. <clears throat> About Gamora. Can this not wait, Peter Quill? I am readying my body for battle. Uh, <laughs> you know we're supposed to capture this monster, right? Not kill it? Of course. But I suspect it will not go down without a fight. Cool it, muscles. Lady Hellbender ain't gonna buy damaged goods. I will aim to preserve the integrity of the beast as best I can. Good. All good, buddy? <laughs> oh, yeah. You remember that dealer who asked you about know, the I don't understand you, you Groot, but I'm gonna assume you just he said something super me. kind and, and says, thoughtful. Uh, what do you need these for, then? I am Groot. Yeah, like I'm turning the Milano into a dance club or something. Please refrain from creating this club of dance. Yeah, yeah, we all know how you feel about dancing. I am Groot. Well, what was I supposed to tell him? Uh, you know, I, uh, need them to build, uh, some ultrasonic lures so my team of ex-cons can trap a mystery creature in the most, uh, legal place in the quadrant. You wanna throw in a discount? <laughs> what is it? Dude, take five. We gotta talk about that Gamora thing. She's waiting for you in the cockpit. I know, I know, I just meant... Are you gonna be okay? You two are gonna be alone on the ship for a while. Rest assured, Peter Quill. I will keep a watchful eye and thwart any attempt at treachery. Or... you could try trusting her. <laughs> you are naive, Peter Quill. She is a mistress of deceit. Groot really needs to get these plants under control. Yep, I use these for smuggling. Hopefully I won't ever have to smuggle myself in there. Hey, uh, Groot, did that escort job on Orga ever pan out? Good old Milano. Engine parts from at least five different black markets. Rocket! Did you bring back the docking ships you took from the alignment console? I'll do it as soon as I reconfigure them! You better not try to sell them off! Not like I'd make any money! Things are so cheap they couldn't align two magnetized connectors. Wish you were here, Mom. Almost 20 years, and those tracks are still fire. Bowser! Morgoth, be with you. Hey, Morgoth yourself. I am cool. Morgoth is a politeness thing. Cataphian customs don't make no sense to me, bud. Nice. Rocket finally cleaned up the fur balls. You're welcome! Just pocketing a little something so this job don't turn out like our monster hunting gig in the Hilda Cluster. Please, no. If I see a single jellyfish right in the quarantine zone, I'm turning around. <laughs> hey, come on, Gamora. Don't lie to yourself. We all know you like slicing through the squishy critters. Not so sure about tooth cleaning tablets. Manual brushing is where it's at.
Wonder if Drax was allowed to decorate his cell in the kiln. Probably not. She's only been here a few months, but her room's already decked out. Mora? Up here, Peter. Hey, that's my chair. Oh, then why aren't you in it? I was, uh, strategizing. Uh. It's one thing to get into the zone, but we still gotta catch that monster. Right. So did I miss anything? Other than a ton of suspicious glares from Drax, not really. Now, if you're done strategizing. Feel free to grab your seat. We're almost ready to go. Once we've reached that force field, there's no going back. Your black market codes are gonna crack that Nova net, right? Yep. As soon as you enter them in your console. Take a look at this. <laughs> Had to use our last roto adhesive, but I finally got the shielding plates in place. These babies are gonna be able to survive a full quantum blast. Or a space monster. I am Groot. Talking about the quarantine zone here. Quantum blasts are just as likely as monsters. Guys, our great leader ran away. Could you send him back? Ready now? Now? Now, now. If his majesty... Okay, here we go. Rocket Groot Drax, get in here. We're going in. We still have a few ticks before the next time window, actually. The next one? Nova Corps security guard resets every rotation. We want to be in and out before our code expires, or we'll get stranded. And if we wait for the next reset, we'll get a full rotation to do this. Nice. <laughs> oh, why is the Nova Net still up? Thought we were going in. Well, it appears the assassin's contacts are as untrustworthy as the betrayer herself. Oh, please don't tell me Gamora's backdoor coats are bust. We nearly went broke getting them. Relax, Rocket. We still got a few ticks before the next time window. The network just reset. You can enter the sequence, Peter. Zero four five one. That's it. Four digits. Suspicious. These security measures are too simplistic for Nova Corps. It's not that simple. The code only works on this date for this ship. Oh, I get it. Gamora's codes are more like an encryption key of some sort, designed to integrate temporal coordinates and our ship's hard-coded serial into a local number generator. Info gets in, digits come out. Four of them. Yeah. Are you having difficulties, Peter Quill? Zero, four, five, one. Two, two, one, eight. No. Do not confuse him, Rodent. I am Groot. Groot says it's taken a while. I could tell. There. There was so much stuff left after the war. Restraint wasn't very popular in the Shatari army, especially with Thanos in charge. Yeah, it's probably all harmless now. I mean, Novacor had 12 years to get rid of the heavy-duty explosives, right? <laughs> That's why I like you, Quill. You're so pure. Oh, the wonderful and terrible things I could do with all this tech. Stay focused, Rodent. We do not come here to scavenge. Why not? The Milano's weapon systems could use an overall. Plus, there's good money in it. 
beast that we seek is far more valuable to the monster queen of Seknoth 9 than any illegally acquired salvage. Whoa! Oh, the place is really shifty. I'm not seeing a monster, but that big cylinder up ahead looks like the mining ship Peter's friend said to look for. <laughs> friend? For a night? And you'll see the monster as soon as we place Rocket's monster summoning thingies. Flark, yeah. Root, Quell, Soda. Team Rocket's up first. I still do not understand why I must remain on board with the Assassin. Oh, because you're part of Green Team. You assigned me to the team before you named it. My skin is not green. It's teal. Teal? Listen, if we want to trick the monster into going inside that mining rig, we need to place thumpers on both sides. Two sides, two teams. And two clips at the drop side. Ground's too unstable to land the ship. You'll need to jump. That's our cue. Let's go, Groot. <laughs> Don't worry! Once the thumpers are placed, we'll meet in the middle, and we'll capture the monster. Together. Very well. My baby. Bishop Peter, not a child. Huh. Oh, can you imagine? What? The pink coup? It's custom nano rest, designed to keep all this war stuff from floating away. safe. Now, can we please focus less on the toxic goo and more on all this cool war junk it's holding together? I'm drunk. I didn't mean toxic toxic. More, uh, don't put it in your mouth toxic. It is strange. I have not encountered any corpses in the wreckage. Hmm. Probably got disintegrated when the ships went kaboom. Man, these missiles were devastating during the war. Wonder if any still work. You tell me, Visor Boy. I am Groot. We don't know what it looks like. Quill neglected to get that info while he was flirting on Contraxia. Wouldn't mind seeing the specs of these babies. I am Groot. Yeah, yeah, I'm always careful. After we sell the monster, I say we head to nowhere. Do some gambling. I am Groot. <laughs> you! You can't bluff your way out of a plantain pot. But then, neither can Drax. Taking his share will be easy. I'm thinking that big cylinder thing is our rendezvous? Yeah, that's the mining rig. So weird seeing it all clustered together like this. Bits and pieces of a war that spanned the entire galaxy held together by... Pink goo. Ebrium-based nano-resin. Whatever. I'm just saying, it's a lot to take in. an argument, Rodent. You know, I think I do sort of get it. Thousands of worlds fighting for some fleeting greater good. Oh, look! Yellow and blue! Looks like an old Novacore frigate. Nice! Come on, dude. People probably died on that ship. Killjoy, why do you even bring us here if the place is so sacred? I can name at least a dozen planets with monsters on them, so why here? You think it's to impress Gamora? Like, hey, Check out the serious intel I got from, you know, shady sources. Please, keep going. I'm falling in love. Keep the combat armor on, murder mom. Ah, just imagine what kind of blasters the Shadari had to use to wreck some of these frigates. I am I'm not being insensitive. I'm curious and kind of jealous. Whoa! Okay. 
I'm okay. Ha! Almost made yourself a very late war casualty. Not funny. You know, I like this. This is fun. The three of us hanging out, just like when we started this gig, before you know who joined us. I am Quill. I do not hate everybody. I tolerate Quill. Quill's a swell guy. I hope you get that promotion, Rocket. Come on, Rocket. Drax and Gamora are valued additions to the team. You're only saying that because she's listening. Is that why your plan has Drax and I taking the ship? Maybe. Hey, can't a guy want to spend some quality time with his friends? Whoa! Pretty sure that way's a dead end. Eh, uh, you sure? Ah, there we go. Path's this way. Come on. How can you even tell? Just trust me, all right? Hey, group. You think we could find pieces of the Trion shard in here? How'd you even know the other way was a dead end? Because, unlike you, I have a very keen sense of direction. <sighs> Watch your step, guys. This junk isn't as stable as we think. Uh, that is one big mushroom. Take that, brittle stuff. Ugh. I hate these ship-eating parasites. Flarkas would chew right through the Milano in two cycles. Looks like they've got nice... <laughs> Gross. <laughs> nice splatter. Hey, 50 units says I can clear more of these suckers than you. As if. Whoa, what the? Rocket, did you do that? The scoreboard? You like it? Hacked it into your visor cover last time you took a snooze. You hacked into my stuff? Considering how many times I fixed the flarkin thing, it might as well be my stuff. Optimal thumper placing distance should be just up ahead. I'm thinking right in front through the giant hole where this ship's cockpit used to be. Well, that's grim. Uh, yeah, try not to think about it. It's better not to wonder what happened to anyone working on these old wrecks. It was a long time ago anyways. Larkin, Scott Stain, Quill. You okay down there? Yep. Yeah, just, uh, thought I saw a shortcut. shortcut. Right. Go ahead without me. I'll catch up. Okay. There's a craft out Novacore missile bay just on the other side. We'll meet you there. Yellow and blue missile bay. Got it. Oh, gee! 
Quickly! Don't study it! Shoot it! Ugh! It's like popping a zit! Chuck one more up for Star Lord! Not funny! Hey, Gamora, make sure the Milano don't get stuck in any of this resin. If she did, I would wrench the ship free. Don't worry, I've flown worse ships in worse situations. Pal's mystery monster tip. I hope she's legit. Like you could even tell if she had an honest face. Yeah, she did smell like flowers. Too much. Probably the seduced starstruck over there. Trust in the plan, guys. Everything is checked out so far, right down to the mining ship. We put our thumpers in the right places and we'll bag that monster. Mother of Scott! Are you kidding me? Son of a smack! That was too close! You okay, Groot? Well, we're fine, but we can't jump that. You don't gotta jump. There's a sturdy support beam on this side. Get Groot to grow a bridge across. Just ask him nice like. He does it for me all the time. All right, Groot. Let's see that cool vine. Oh, yeah. It's one hell of a party trick, big guy. Gross. More ship eaters. Ah, oh, they're everywhere. Boom! Right under your nose, Quill. So what do I gotta do to get a last name like Drax's? Katathias have no need for circuits. What about the Destroyer? It is a moniker to mark the countless I slaughtered during a shameful period of untempered rage. Ugh, I can't stand these things chewing up all this beautiful salvage. Hey, Greenies, you see any blue and gold ships out there, you'll let us know. We have seen many such ships. He means active ones. We haven't talked about what to do for us. Uh, we'll restrain them until you're done here. Bad idea. Those cops are all connected through their stupid helmets. If they do spot us, all they have to do is close that barrier and we're stuck. If you see cops, you get my ship out of here. Even if it means leaving us behind. Uh, flark that! Trust me. Okay, here we go. All right, set her down right there. Yep, one to go. Flark! No! No! Flark and Skaggy! Kratak and batteries fried, that's what's wrong. Maybe you put it down too hard. Let's just find a solution. The solution's a new battery, with a charge. Okay. We're on what's left of a ship. Full of ship things. Gotta be things that power ship things around here, right? Yeah. Maybe you're gonna want to use your visor for this. You find a replacement while I finish scraping the fried wires. Nova Centurions probably had to tow all the scrap to one place. Sure, not really their job description, but Nova was spread pretty thin after the war. Hey, 
Kept them off of my tail, at least. Of course we're going the right way. Just keep your eyes on that mining ship. That's where we want to end up. What's a mining ship doing in the middle of all these fighters, anyway? Eh, they don't call them casualties of war for nothing. Uh, of course it's the worst space ration flavor. This one tastes like dollar store cat food. Makes her teeth oily. Well, come on, man. All this firepower. Now it's all just scrap. Yeah, sorry, bud. Sorry about what? Groot's people never even got a chance to fight. Old Daston Planet was torched at the start of the war. Found a compressor. No charge. Uh, no charge. No good. How do we know the monster we're looking for ain't one of these things we already killed? If it were worthy of Lady Hellbender's collection. <laughs> hey! A huge power generator! How do we hook it up? We don't! That thing would toast our little thumper. Can't we condense the power through a routing funnel or something? Don't try to make up tech stuff. It's irritating. Find something else. Gamora, when are you gonna share your contacts and sources? Found something with a charge! Kinda looks like a spacey car battery. Lucid or Xenon cell? Uh, never mind. Let's try it. Bring it over to the middle here. Okay. This thing isn't gonna zap me, right? The chance is... minuscule. At best. You'll be fine. Here you go. That'll do nicely. Just let me tinker a bit. I'll have to do some tweaking once I see how much juice this thing puts out. So, uh, watch my back. Watch it from what? <laughs> Rocket! Help me scramble some critters! No, 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 Scott! If I don't rewire this mask, he's gonna sh Fucking monster things! Everyone get ready! They're really coming out of the woodwork! Just keep them away from me so I can fix this thing! Bringing the pain! Well, watch it! Thanks for the heads up, bud! Found him off, crew! Ah, I hate bugs! I don't think they're too fond of us either! Sorry to burst your bubble! See you fix it next time. Come on, two down, two to go. I don't see any way out of the missile bay except that passage, bud. Well, we found a way out. Groot's wondering if the reward's gonna be worth all the risk we're taking for this job. Me and Groot are nearly unkillable, but what if the rest of you don't make it out alive? If the two of us gotta lug that monster. Guys, we deliver this monster to Lady Hellbender, we'll get bigger payouts and jobs that don't suck. A ship for each one of us! I mean, a team only needs one ship. Perhaps a more spacious ship. What? No! I love my baby! If we can modify her, I'd kill for a gunner's rotunda. We'll think about it. I'm Groot. Groot wants a plant. 
Groot, man, we will get you two plants. Man, that thing is ridiculous. I think it was a ship or a robot. That's a Cree Sentry, a robot, but it would have been space worthy. Oh, Groot. <laughs> that ain't even the biggest one. They designed at least five experimental models twice that size. Plus half a dozen Mega Sentry prototypes. Impressive, but I could fly circles around something that big. Give me a fast and sexy M-Class scout over those things any day. I do appreciate that sweet Ravager pirate tech. She's made for hidden runs. <laughs> and boy, can she run. She can hit too. There's always room for more firepower, Quill. That Sentry probably took on whole fleets.